What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to cover the where in and where not in methods in Laravel. So let's start off with a where in method, which allows you to filter a collection based on multiple values. It is often used when you have an array of values and you want to find all the records in a collection that match one or more of those values. To demonstrate how the where in method works, let's take a look at a scenario. Let's use our user model this time. Now let's find out all the users that have a certain rule. Let's first define an array named rules. And let's pass in two values right here. Let's say admin and super underscore admin. Then right outside of our array, we can use our user model and then use the where in method and chain the get method. The where in method accepts two required arguments. The first argument is a column that you want to filter on, which in our case will be rule, while the second argument is an array of values you want to filter by. So let's pass in our rules array. Quick summary of our example right here. We are using the where in method to find all the users that have a rule of admin or super underscore admin. Once we perform our request, you will see that it has retrieved a lot of users where their rule is either an admin or super admin. This output isn't very clear, so let's replace the get method with the count method that we have used in the second episode, and let's perform it, where you will see that out of the 50 users that we have created, 36 of them have a rule of either admin or super admin. Now many developers would use the where method in this case, but using the where in method is so much more powerful because it allows you to find records that match each value in an array. You can use where in to find all the records in one query. I also think that the where in method makes your code more readable and maintainable by using the expressive syntax of Laravel's collection to write code that is easy to understand and to modify. Next to the where in method, Laravel offers the where not in method, which is useful when you want to exclude specific values from your query. Using the where not in method has the same advantages as the where in method because it makes your code more readable and maintainable. It is often used when you have an array of values and you want to find all the records in the collection that do not match any of those values. Let's use our user model again. And let's use the where not in method. And let's change the get method to it. Just like the where in method, it accepts two arguments. The first argument is the column you want to filter on, which in our case will be role again while the second argument is an array of values that you want to exclude. So let's say that instead of including the admin and super underscore admin rule, we're going to exclude them now. Once again, if we perform a request, we will retrieve quite some rows. So if we replace the get method with the count method, you'll see that we have retrieved 14 rows, which is correct because the where in method retrieved 36 rows. And if we add both of them, it's a total of 50 users. Now, just like any other method in Laravel, you can chain as many methods as you want. So let's say that we want to chain the where method right here, and that we only want to retrieve users where the email verified at is equal to today, which is 2023 04 13. In the output, you will see that it has returned zero, and that's because the email verified at column of the users have all not been set. But the point is that you could use the where not in and the where in method with any other method that you want. Quick summary, the where not in method is useful when you want to exclude specific values from your query, where the where in method is very useful when you want to include specific values from your query. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover the where null and the where not null methods. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.